5,000 years ago, Egyptian priests practiced a breath so powerful that modern neuroscience now proves it rewires your brain in just seven minutes. I'm talking about measurable changes in your prefrontal cortex, gamma wave activation and neuroplasticity that ancient masters knew would unlock what they called the God state. Today, I'm going to show you this exact technique, and if you practice it correctly, you'll feel your manifestation power shift within 24 to 48 hours. But here's the thing. Most people skip the preparation phase and wonder why it doesn't work. Stay with me, because in two minutes, I'll reveal the exact ancient pattern that modern brain scans confirm literally rewires your neural pathways. Section 1. Scientific Foundation Here's what blew my mind when I first discovered this connection between ancient wisdom and cutting-edge neuroscience. The breath pattern I'm about to teach you triggers what researchers call neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to form new neural connections. A groundbreaking 2019 study, published in the Journal of Clinical Medicine, found that specific breathing techniques can increase gamma wave activity by up to 400% in just minutes. But here's where it gets really interesting. The ancient Egyptian texts describe achieving divine consciousness through breath, and modern fMRI scans show that this exact breathing pattern activates your prefrontal cortex, the same region associated with higher consciousness, manifestation, and what neuroscientists call flow states. The Egyptians weren't just practicing mystical rituals, they were performing precise neurological interventions. They understood that breath is the bridge between your conscious and unconscious mind. And now we have the science to prove it. Section 2. The Problem But here's the problem that's keeping you trapped. Modern life has locked most of us in what I call beta brain prison. You're breathing shallow, quick breaths that keep your nervous system in chronic stress mode. This beta-dominant brainwave state blocks your manifestation abilities and keeps you disconnected from your true power. Think about it. When did you last take a deep, intentional breath? Most people breathe into their chest, using only 30% of their lung capacity. This shallow breathing pattern signals danger to your brain, keeping you in survival mode instead of creation mode. Your vagus nerve stays compressed, your gamma waves remain suppressed, and your prefrontal cortex, your manifestation center, goes offline. Ancient practitioners understood this. Egyptian priests, Tibetan monks, and Indian yogis knew that specific breath patterns could shift consciousness in minutes. They called it accessing the God state, what we now know as gamma-dominant brainwave activity. While you're stuck in beta brain prison, they were activating neural pathways that modern science is just beginning to understand. This breathing technique is your key out of that prison and into the same elevated states that ancient masters achieved thousands of years ago. Section 3. The 7-Minute Ancient Technique Now, let me walk you through this powerful 7-minute technique. I'm going to break this into three sacred phases, and I want you to follow along exactly as I guide you. This isn't just breathing, this is neural rewiring in real time. Phase 1. Preparation. 2 minutes. Creating sacred space. First, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. The ancient Egyptians understood that environment affects consciousness. Sit with your spine straight. Imagine a golden thread pulling you up from the crown of your head. This isn't just posture. You're aligning your vagus nerve for optimal activation. Close your eyes and place one hand on your chest, one on your belly. For the next 30 seconds, just observe your natural breath without changing it. Notice if you're breathing into your chest or your belly. Most people are shocked to discover they've been breathing backwards their entire lives. Now, begin the grounding sequence. Breathe in for four counts through your nose, filling your belly first, then your chest. Hold for two counts. Exhale through your mouth for six counts, letting your chest fall first, then your belly. This is 4-2-6 breathing. Repeat this pattern eight times. You're not just oxygenating your blood, you're activating your parasympathetic nervous system and preparing your brain for the ancient pattern. Feel your body beginning to relax. This is your nervous system shifting out of beta brain prison. 
you're creating the neurological foundation for transformation. Phase two, core ancient pattern. Three minutes, the sacred sequence. Here's where the magic happens. The ancient Egyptians discovered that specific breath ratios create what they called divine resonance. Modern science shows us this is gamma wave entrainment. The pattern is 7484. Seven counts in, hold for four. Eight counts out, hold for four. But here's the secret the ancient texts reveal. It's not just about counting. You're going to visualize. Golden light entering through your crown chakra on every inhale and see this light spreading through your entire nervous system. Begin now. Inhale for seven counts, visualizing brilliant golden light flooding into your brain. Hold for four counts. Feel this light activating your prefrontal cortex. Exhale for eight counts. Send this light down your spine and throughout your body. Hold empty for four counts. Feel the energy settling into your cells. Continue this pattern. Seven, four, eight, four. Golden light in, energy spreading, light flowing, power anchoring. You might feel tingling in your hands or a sensation of expansion in your chest. This is your vagus nerve activating, your gamma waves increasing. The ancient Egyptians called this feeling the God awakening within. Stay with the pattern, seven, four, eight, four. Don't just breathe. Feel ancient power awakening in your cells. Your brain is literally rewiring right now. New neural pathways are forming. You're accessing the same consciousness state that pharaohs and high priests achieved in the temples of Egypt. Phase three, integration. Two minutes, anchoring the new state. Now we anchor this elevated state into your nervous system. Return to natural breathing, but keep your awareness expanded. Feel the new energy flowing through your body. This is your upgraded operating system coming online. Place both hands on your heart. Visualize the most important thing you want to manifest in your life. See it clearly. Feel it is already accomplished. This isn't fantasy. You're programming your reticular activating system while your brain is in this heightened neuroplastic state. Breathe naturally and hold this vision. Feel gratitude for this manifestation as if it's already here. The ancient masters knew that elevated emotions combined with clear intention while in gamma states creates what they called divine magic. Modern neuroscience calls it neuroplasticity assisted manifestation programming. Take three more natural breaths, feeling this new state of consciousness integrating into your being. When you open your eyes, you'll feel different, more centered, more powerful, more connected to your manifestation abilities. This is your brain running on the upgraded software that ancient masters used to shape reality. Section four, science behind why it works. Let me explain exactly what just happened in your brain during those seven minutes, because the science behind this ancient technique is absolutely fascinating. First, the four to six preparation breathing activated your vagus nerve the longest nerve in your autonomic nervous system. Dr. Stephen Porges's polyvagal theory shows us that vagus nerve stimulation immediately shifts you out of sympathetic dominance and into parasympathetic restoration. This is essential for neuroplasticity. The core 7484 pattern creates what researchers call coherent breathing, approximately five breaths per minute. A 2020 study in the International Journal of Yoga found that this specific breathing rate maximizes heart rate variability and triggers gamma wave production in the brain. But here's the really exciting part, the breath retention phases. When you hold your breath, you're creating controlled hypoxia, which stimulates the production of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF. Think of BDNF as fertilizer for your neurons, it literally grows new brain cells and strengthens neural connections. The visualization component activates your default mode network while simultaneously engaging your prefrontal cortex. 
This dual activation is exactly what neuroscientist Dr. Robin Carhart Harris describes as the neuroplastic window, when your brain is most capable of forming new neural pathways. Finally, the integration phase with manifestation visualization takes advantage of what's called state-dependent learning. Your brain is more likely to encode new beliefs and behaviors when you're in an altered state of consciousness. The ancient Egyptians understood this intuitively. They knew that elevated states were the doorway to transformation. This isn't mystical nonsense. This is precision neuroscience disguised as ancient wisdom. And it's why this technique can create measurable changes in your brain and your reality in such a short time. Section 5. Implementation Guide. Here's how to maximize the power of this ancient technique in your daily life. The optimal times to practice are immediately upon waking and just before sleep. Your brain is naturally in alpha and theta states during these transition periods, making it more receptive to neuroplastic changes. Ancient Egyptian priests practiced at dawn and dusk for this exact reason. They understood circadian neurology thousands of years before modern science. Within 24 to 48 hours of consistent practice, Watch for these signs that the technique is rewiring your brain. Increased mental clarity, enhanced intuition, more vivid dreams, and what I call synchronicity acceleration. Meaningful coincidences appearing more frequently in your life. You might also notice improved sleep quality, reduced anxiety, and a deeper sense of connection to your manifestation abilities. Some people report feeling more grounded, yet simultaneously more expanded, which is exactly what ancient texts describe as balanced divine consciousness. Practice this technique for seven consecutive days, and you'll experience what the Egyptians called the Great Opening, a permanent shift in your baseline consciousness. Your brain will have formed new neural highways that support manifestation, creativity, and elevated states of awareness. Remember, consistency trumps intensity. Seven minutes daily will transform you more than sporadic longer sessions. If you felt that shift in consciousness during the technique, comment ancient below. I want to see how many of you experience the power of this 5,000 year old secret. Subscribe for more science-backed manifestation techniques and hit the bell icon because next week I'm revealing the neuroplasticity hack that Egyptian pharaohs used to maintain God consciousness 24-7.